this is game 3 between the resurrected and the devotion that's the game on server D on the flight is win and we are trying to play complete matches basically oh no in that hand uh, because it was a one random but it did have I believe a sun and blood and uh, ice blood I think but I didn't want to take the risk so if I give it now I'm just on time I feel like I could be doing quite a lot of powerful stuff so I'm rolling that hand I feel like the only things I boarded in were Of the spies, and not much else to be honest. So, yeah, he had the Oath of Light in one, I just cast the Sun and Blood in turn two. Demolish me. And so, yeah, attack was fun on the off the die, so I can just wind up that match. But huge toughness plus stun block ability is the crazy combo against me. Well, that normally is something like a downfall here, and crazy doesn't have a one mana protection spell. So he runs the pluses here. It's not a protection spell, it's something. I see a stroke, divine strike, and something else, uh, which doesn't that matter that much. So I play the stroke. Then cast another seize to take away the Janice presence. Despise right there. I think that took away the fear of arrows. Right. Play the spiderman. Puts it on top. Die for the point and play the master with it. Which is not gonna quite stop him, but it gives me a chance to kind of face him. It gives him a lot of cards for his deck o outside of Valorous Stance, has very little ways to interact with the master. The heroic deck basically took out some of the. Oh, uh, Three Adam presences, one Defiant Strike, and two Sickest, and he started in all the counters, so three um, s strokes and three stubborn denial, which are quite bananas, those kind of games. Don't have that many targets for the strokes, but the ones I have are pretty important. Immune cyborg for this mana deck. I'm supposed to have like more, if not like more copies of Clash of Fates, but more copies of Distinguish All Hope because I have so many Tendon creatures. And uh, it might be actually okay to bring in like a second Ugin. 
is a brand new one named Dyke and Lemon Sideboard. Yeah, here I'm trying to kind of stay as long as custom as I read, which during my combat phase gets erased and they get bounced by that line of events. Taking the stroke so that he doesn't count for any of my main matchups and things like that. So, yeah, he goes to combat deck and collects a lot. By default, this is just four damage. I don't think he has any resistance there. have a pump, which makes it I know it's just another guy, yeah that that makes mad. So I keep this four there here down to seven, pushing him down to five. I have loot till next turn. So I don't have no way to deal with the math so I can jump block with the brain magic to preserve my life total. So yeah, it wasn't a pump for him, it was just another creature, which didn't quite matter. But he just hit with the ordeal of hell here, which just basically crushed my all hopes. So basically any other pump there, I think I was okay. But here, just turn one turn was just abysmal for me, that just, like killed my whole game plan here. So yeah, and then he's hitting this way for six, putting it down to one. Very few things I could do, he still has some cards in hand. So even if I don't know, wouldn't know his hand, I would feel pretty bummed about this. Yeah, I'm making him draw even more cards. So here I just didn't block the hero because he was just like 2 damage and if he had something yeah, yeah I was dead but like if I would block the brain maggot and give him back the um, the stroke so that would take away so many outs from me so yeah that I would know for sure that he would have a counter for some big spell from me. at the right time and my day went perfect thank you guys